Okay, so the, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to measure the relationship between the atomizer and the carb throat. And that's fairly easy. We take our vernier gauge, extended, <coughs> and um, stick it down the, where the slider goes, down the center, the slider, until you can see this. It's going to go down into the atomizer, okay, and where it will touch the atomizer ring, and then just simply drop the vernier gauge, and that in this occasion says 47 millimeters. Uh, so it's 47 millimeters from the the atomizer ring to um, the top here. And so I'm just going to extend the uh, thing and put it down to the base of the throat. Okay, so it's now on the base of the throat, and we drop it down, and 47 millimeters. So we know that the 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 height of the atomizer is the same as the the base of the throat. That's the extension of the slider. So that's going to make life very easy for us. Um, to calculate. Yeah, so we're only going to need uh, two dimensions to, to build our model. Um, yeah, we, we're going to need uh, the, the dimension from the base from the base of the notch to the base of the slider. Okay, so from where the notch sits to, to the base of the slider. And um, we have all the other dimensions from the, um, the charts provided by Delauto to make the rest of the calculations, as long as we know um, where, the, where the, the needle sits. And the other dimension is easy. It's going to be the length of travel of the slider. Okay, so, um, okay, so let's measure the... Uh, take a 16 trillion millimeters and... Um, you, there's a slot, you know, there's a slot there, and you can see maybe, yeah, you know, where, where the base is, and you can see where the base is anyway, and you can stick your stick your stick six inch ruler in, in millimeters, and measure, oof, like that, okay, it's about like that, and to the base. It's 12 millimeters. That's one measurement, 12 millimeters. And the other, um, the other measurement is the slider travel. And simply take your slider and drop it in, push it down, And uh, take a vernier gauge off six inch rule it's to the millimeter. But, uh, yeah, if you're doing the vernier gauge, extend it, uh, slide it down to the top of the, um, the piston, to the top of the slider, and okay, that's 17 millimeters. Yeah, you could easily just put your your ruler in and measure. So those are the two dimensions that we need. Um, seven, in this case, it's 17 millimeters travel of the slider, and 12 millimeters between the base of the uh, of the circlet and the notch uh, to the base of the of the slider. All the rest falls out in the wash um, with the information we've already got. Okay, cool.